Hello and welcome to my review of the BB Boo Flex Cover. Before I begin this review, I should probably state that I was gifted these nappies in exchange for an honest review. This review accurately reflects my opinion of the nappies. So I was very kindly sent both their birth to potty version and the newborn version which they call the petite. I haven't used the petite myself because my baby is far too big for it. But it's essentially the exact same nappy um, and this one is going to go to my sister who's pregnant so it will still get plenty of use. The birth to potty retails for around £15 and the petite version is for around £13. Size wise the birth to potty again you'd expect from around sort of £10 weight mark to um, start to fit nicely right up until around £35 and for the newborn one they estimate around six pounds weight up to around 13. So there's a little bit of crossover between the two, which will help if your baby is a skinny baby, you'll probably keep them this one a little bit longer. If we have a look at the front, um, the covers are only available in a proper fastening. You'll see they're sort of the same. Um, both of them have the overlap here to allow you to get a real snug waist by snapping that right over. Same on this one too, and the birth potty also features the um, hip stability poppers to stop having any wing droop. On the birth potty version, you have got the uh, rise poppers in three columns, which helps give a bit more stability to the fit. There is only two on the petite version, but because it's such a small, narrow nappy, you shouldn't get in much slippage with this. I actually think it's quite nice that the petite version has rise poppers. Quite often, uh, newborn size nappies are just sort of the size they are. Um, so it's nice to have a bit of flexibility within the fit as well. Again, the exterior for both is very similar. They're both made from quite a thick PRL. It feels really good quality. Sort of thing that should last multiple babies. Both of them have got um, this silky, sort of almost like a ribbon, sort of satiny covering around all the edges and the elastics, same on both of them. The edging also feels really well made. It still looks exactly the same even after multiple washes. They both feature a double gusset which will help with containment, especially with a newborn, that's gonna be really useful. And again, they have um, a bit of a back elastic, but also on the front as well on both. And again, especially with the newborn sort of liquidy poos, that's gonna be really useful. Although I do find having an elasticated tummy does make it more difficult to get a good fit. Uh, they both have uh, the logo on the back, which is quite a cute little bit of branding. I quite like that. The label's been really well thought out. The stitching doesn't go all the way through the PRL, so you won't suffer from leaks, which can be quite common, especially with girls with back stitching. I think the containment of these is really, really good. Um, and finally, I don't talk about packaging enough, but the only packaging they come with is just a little tag like this, which is clipped on under one of the poppers. And even states that you can send the tag back to them and they will reuse it. It purposely doesn't say which particular products it's for, so it can be used against any of the ranges. And um, because they're in America and I'm in the UK, I've not sent the tag back because I think that would probably be worse for the environment. But it's just a cute little touch, and if not, um, you can recycle it, which is what I should be doing with this. So let's take a closer look inside the nappies. Again, they're very similar inside. They're designed predominantly to be used as an all in two. Um, but you could also use them as a wrap as well. So both feature a female popper at the back here and there is another one in both of them under the front of this panel. So you've got a few options on how to use it. They have um, soaker sets they sell themselves. Um, you normally get a set of two like this. Um, so obviously the, the smaller one would just pop into your, into your newborn one and the larger one into the one size. Um, you can also add this to this one, there's a popper just halfway down there, and then um, for a girl I would leave it flat like that so you get the absorption in the middle. For my boy I fold it up like that and then popper that into the nappy. So that's one option. You can also use any popper in insert. So uh, this is a buttons diaper one and um, it's a very big insert so it's not the fault of the wrap that this doesn't fit great, it also doesn't fit in my in my buttons wrap very well but again that just poppers on exactly the same and then that gives you another option to use any inserts that you already have alternatively you can use um, a flat so this is a pre-fold this is newborn size one which fits in very nicely because both wraps have got this lovely 
P-Rail tummy panel here, which prevents leaks because it stops things creeping up out the front and if you happen to get your clothing tucked down inside, stop any wicking leaks. So you can put a pre-fold inside the nappy just like that and either leave it like that or add a fleece liner on top whatever you prefer really um, and you could also use a, a muslin or a terry or anything sort of in a, in a pad fold um, I've also used the birth to potty one over a shaped nappy such as this one and use it as a, as a wrap and it fits over as you can see really nicely uh, the only downside of using a shaped nappy is because it's obviously a lot bulkier is whereas before using a insert I was on the middle rise with um, the bulkier shape nappy I did have to have the nappy the wrap fully open in order to cover it so I'm not entirely sure this would last right up to 35 pounds if using over a shape nappy particularly as my baby's quite tall and he's already on the the largest setting of, of this nappy which isn't a, uh, a BB bow one um, overall size wise I'd say these are really good they um, should last £35 quite easily. My baby's rather tall, and as I said, he's on the middle rise. There's still plenty of room to grow as long as I'm using a an insert of some sort rather than a shape nappy. And there is an awful lot of um, flexibility in the width as well. So I think even for, for chunky babies, it should last really well. I'm not normally a fan of all in twos, but I really like the flexible approach to the design on this nappy. I also think the quality is really good and whilst the leg elastics could be a little softer and I'd like to remove the elasticated tummy, I think this is a good wrap. Therefore, I'm going to give the BB Boo Flex Cover 3 stars. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.